I'm Donald Farmer. I have this grand title of Vice President of Innovation and Design. In other words, we look at where things are going to be three, five, seven years out, way beyond the current product roadmap. Stuff just happens. It's just managed for you. It's all auto magic. The infrastructure, the access issues, somehow there's just a service there. And that's the, the promise that has been held out. The reality, as always, has been far more complicated. We talk about the cloud. You know, coming from Seattle, there's not one cloud. There are, there are thousands of clouds. <laughs> there's, there's clouds everywhere. It's just constant cloud. Every company now seems to have a self-service offering. Every company seems to have a self-service in-memory offering. Every company seems to have a self-service in-memory visualization offering. The thing that's missing from all of these is governance. I often make this comparison that IT used to be gatekeepers and now they need to be shopkeepers. As gatekeepers, they prevented things happening. A shopkeeper calls you in. <laughs> the shopkeeper goes out to meet you. The shopkeeper says, here's my goods, they're on display, please, please buy them. We acquired a company called Data Market in Iceland. The stock market, exchange rates, government regulations, weather, demographics, market share, these are the things that define your business. Yeah, so it's all very well going to the United Nations and you know scraping a demographic information, um, but how do I? How often do I refresh that and keep it up to date? You know, Click Data Market effectively solves that. It's a cloud-based library of external data sources. So today we have 200 providers, 100,000 data sets, and five billion fact values available for people to use. Risk analysis was a highly technical procedure involving very specialized scientific statistical visualizations. And it's not a question of showing it to a statistician or a risk analyst or a regulator. You have to show it to somebody in HR in Singapore in the back of a taxi on an iPhone. And that's a completely different challenge. What you see on an iPhone should be different from what you see on a big screen because you can see different levels of detail. So it's one thing to say, well, I've got a visualization and it works on a laptop and I can make it work on a smartphone. What's really uninteresting is when your visualization just scales down to a smartphone. So if you want an interactive visualization, it's not enough just to scale the visualization. You actually have to show it in different ways. You have to represent the data differently. The visualization is not just a kind of static representation. Visualization for us is very, very interactive. It's the way in which you work with the visualization that matters. There is no business question to which the correct answer is more PowerPoint. So um, <laughs> let's have some demo.